mission of our organization is to promote and empower Haitian American businesses by creating a platform where they can showcase services to the communities in Massachusetts and beyond. So at this time, um, I would like to invite to the stage a person who will tell you a little bit more about the organization. This person is extremely committed to our organization and to the Haitian community as a whole. This person is a change maker and a go-getter. Um, this person basically does everything all day, every day. We would not have this beautiful occasion to honor these amazing young professionals um, if it wasn't for this person. This person wears quite a few hats on a daily basis. He is a family man, a software engineer for the state of Massachusetts, and he is the founder of Quadrillion Tech, an IT company providing cybersecurity services to small businesses and software development and other IT solutions to government agencies. So without further ado, let's welcome the president of the U.S. Haitian Chamber of Commerce, Hans Patrick Bonetti. Good evening, everyone. I am really excited to welcome you to our third annual Haitian American Young Professional Awards Gala. Thank you for taking the time to join us this evening. Let's give yourself a round of applause, please. Tonight, we are celebrating excellence, leadership, entrepreneurship, citizenship. And yet, many people may wonder why are we even having this event tonight, given the current political unrest in our beloved country? As you know, Haiti has always been portrayed in the media as the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. Haiti has always been depicted in a negative light. While we understand that that there are many issues that need to be addressed, problems that need to be solved. But we need to make it clear that that is not our only story. Okay. Tonight, it's an opportunity for us to reclaim our identity. Yes. An, it is an opportunity for us to remind ourselves of our beautiful story. We are the first free black republic in the world. Our story has changed the course of history and has planted seed for generations to come, right? Imagine for one second the world without our story. No, seriously, close your eyes and imagine the world without 1804. Would we have President Obama? No. Would we have Reverend Martin Luther King Jr.? the civil rights movement, human rights. So my friends, when you hear about Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, please make it clear that Haiti is the cradle of liberty. The first food that we have to get in We have a great show for you tonight. We are also celebrating Mikhail Benjamin, Mika Ben. As you know, Mika Ben was scheduled to perform live this evening. But unfortunately, he passed away two weeks ago. You know, we all have received that terrible news. We will pay special tribute in his honor later on this program. In the interest of time, I know we started a little late, right? I would like to quickly thank a few people in the room. Our keynote speaker, Dr. Gabriel Abela. Yeah. Our special awards recipients, Pastor Kiki and Councillor Wussi Vision. Woo! 
Councillor Katrina Hoflamon. My wife, of course. Huh? Uh, and my mom. Last but not least, my team. You know, we have I have the greatest team ever. You know, like uh, Anthony was saying, the whole team has done a great job putting this event together, spending nights, days, right? Emanuela, Anthony, the whole group, Katsi, Bomba guy. Bomba guy. Yeah, Bomba guy. <laughs> Without your dedication, I don't think this event would not have been possible. Once again, congratulations to our finalists. Enjoy the evening. Thank you. Without further ado, our keynote speaker for the evening, Dr. Abelard. I just really want to just take a moment and to acknowledge the greatness in this room. Are you guys feeling the greatness in this room? Okay. So, you know, congratulations to all of you who are, have already received awards. And I really want to acknowledge those all who have been nominated because you are doing tremendous service in your professions, and I really want to take a moment to acknowledge that. So thank you for all the work that you are doing. Thank you. Please welcome to the stage the wife of the U.S. Haitian Chamber's president, Annie Dormesson. Tonight, I am honored to acknowledge the achievements of all the finalists, as this marks the progress and success of our community. To the finalists, let me start off by saying congratulations for a job well done. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Councilor Ruthie louis and Pastor Kiki Jeffro Corisso. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you so very much. I would like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for preserving me. I'm still alive after the two years. And I want to thank the uh, Haitian Consulate of Boston, Madame Bouchard. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Pour bon moi, bel Ewadza, merci à Bill. Et moi, je de tout cœur remercier Chamber the U.S. Haitian Chamber of Commerce, pour go. What's that, Colbomwe? Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. I thank you, Patrick Jefferson. We've been working so hard with your with your with your family, by the way, uh, since the Patrick uh, uh, the Val Patrick Governor, as you know. Well, I just want to thank a few people. Just if you allow me a few minutes to thank my wife, just who support me so much, despite my. 26 work hour, 26, you heard that? 26 hours, okay, of work per day. So she's still with me, she supports me. I want to uh, also thank my sons, my daughter-in-law uh, right here. I want to thank them. Uh, will, will you stand, please, all of my family? Please, please stand, please stand. I want to thank uh, the members of uh, True Alliance Center, my organizations and advocate for Haitian immigrants down here and also for voter rights. Make sure you vote yes on question one, vote yes on question two, vote yes on question four to keep the driver license for all undocumented immigrants in this country. I want to Thank you very much, Nessie and Bilans, and to the U.S. Haitian Chamber of Commerce. Um, I want to thank everyone for being here tonight. Two people you don't, two people who love a mic, a pastor and a politician. <laughs> and you have both of them with Pastor Kiki, also my second father. Uh, many of you know um, um, my father, Robert Lujan of Telegalaxy. And when I think about this award and when I think about my commitment and my contributions to the Haitian community, it would not exist without my father. You know, we grew up 
didn't have much, but we had our pride and our knowledge in Haitian culture and what we can accomplish. When I was listening to Gary sing our anthem, I, I like to meditate on that. Right? Right? And when we think about the power of that statement, right? Our flag was not a gift given to us by white people, but it was our ancestors' blood that uh, that spilled so that we could get that flag. Presenting the 2022 Haitian American Young Professional of the Year Award, please welcome 2019 Young Professional Award winner, Dr. Cappy Bois. This award is presented to a young professional who has stood out as a business leader in their community. The recipient of this award has exhibited creativity, diligence, and excellence in their career. Here are the finalists for the 22 Haitian American Young Professional of the Year Award. 2022 Young Professional of the Year Award category, Ashley Lewis. Jessica Pierre, Alicia Porcena, Nora Gay, and Tara Ernest. The first winner for the 22 Haitian American Young Professional of the Year Award category is Tara Ernest. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Um, I want to start out by congratulating all the other finalists, um, and I want to say thank you to the U.S. Haitian Chamber of Commerce for all their work they're doing, supporting um, young business people, professionals, and for honoring and recognizing our work tonight. Um, I was not expecting to be up here, so I didn't prepare anything, but if I can leave you guys with anything, it's that um, it's a challenge. Um, so a lot of times they say the sky is the limit, and for me the sky was only the beginning. So I am challenging you guys to not limit yourselves ever. Um, thank you again. The second winner for the 2022 Haitian American Young Professional of the Year category award category is. Alicia Porcena. Alicia Porcena is the director of small business for the city of Boston and oversees the direct services and programming that supports over 40,000 small businesses. Most recently, she serves as director of growth, equity, and impact at Intense, a Boston economic development nonprofit focused on closing the racial wealth gap through small business growth. Thank you so much for this award. I, I just want to commend the U.S. Haitian Chamber of Commerce for bringing us all together. This is so beautiful, this night, to create this space and opportunity for um, us as Haitians to, to come together is so beautiful. And, I, and I'm so inspired and reinvigorated to do this work, this awesome work. I want to thank my family who's here. Um, fun fact, my sister previously was also nominated for this world, for, for, for this same award. And so this is truly special because um, it's something that our family deeply cares about. Um, and I'm so happy that they're here to, um, my sisters are here, my family, my mom and dad are here to share this with me today. Um, it's so important. One thing I would say is just that it's so important to keep your community around you strong. And I think I have such a strong community. That's why I'm here today, and I'll continue to honor them in, in the work I do and, and honor um, um, Haitians as I, as I do this work as well. And then one thing, I know we're honoring young leaders and professionals, but I just want to, you know, give uh, the opportunity to uplift all of the people who have come before us, who have, um, who have laid the path for us. You guys have also been so amazing. We've learned from you. There's amazing leaders here. Um, thank you so much, so thank you.